23 ABC investigates local businesses reaching out to us for help after they say a customer ripped them off, but she says it was all a big misunderstanding. 23 ABC's Faven Kay joins us now with the Live Center with uh, how social media played a role in this story. Faven? Yes, I was there today talking to them when the woman they allege received hundreds of dollars in services but failed to pay for them actually came in to pay her bill. Those employees say it was all thanks to social media. Fan took to Facebook after she says that this woman went into Royal Nails and Spa Saturday afternoon, got a mani and pedi, but didn't pay for them. She says that when she called police, they told her that what the woman allegedly did was a petty theft crime and that officers do not respond to those type of calls. Um, I decided to post on Facebook because when we reported to the police, they said that it was petty theft and there was nothing that they could really do but make a report. Um, and we found out that they've been doing this for a while. Um, that post with the woman's picture has since been shared 900 times. Fan also says she has been contacted by several business owners in the community who claims they too have been ripped off by the same woman. 900 shares because, you know, we're a small community and we really care about one another. And so I started getting messages from people who recognize them and are saying that they've been to their... The other shops and have stolen property there. One Tuan Quach, who owns Organic Nail and Spa, tells 23 ABC that he saw the photo and immediately recognized the woman. She came in with four people, two and she and two her two kids, and one cousin came in, and they got the expensive uh, pedicure and nails and the whole nine yards, and they came and they left. When we done, they left and they didn't pay. 23 ABC was there today when the woman came in to pay her tab. She says it was all one big misunderstanding. You know, I'm, I came to pay my bill. Uh, no, no. But the May 21st, she came to my salon. She says that when it was time to pay, she could not find her wallet but had every intention of returning to pay. Police say the investigation is now closed since the woman paid her bill. Now, Kim Fan has since updated her Facebook page, thanking everyone that has helped with this um, immensely. She honestly believes that if it wasn't for social media, they wouldn't have gotten paid. Faven K, live in the News Center, 23 ABC.